Hey everyone, it's Maggie Bot with another No Vlomo blog. Um, so today uh, I had uploaded my number eight uh, for my top ten of all time, and something went wrong and it wasn't playing correctly. So I deleted it. I took it down, and then because today was a special event, I didn't have time to re-upload it. So uh, we went to the EMP Museum here in Seattle to run a game lounge which um, they were doing a video game indie revolution launch party or something similar to that. So they had a bunch of cool independent um, video games. Uh, we ran a game lounge up by the bar, so we have a bunch of games sitting out on tables and we just invite people to come over and learn. So you get kind of a mix. You get people who are pretty familiar with tabletop games and you get people who really don't know. Um, so I brought Camel up for a, a fun one. We set that on the bar. I brought my copy of Mysterium. And for uh, the rest of it, we had Pairs and Parade. I taught a game of the Alchemists. Uh, we played Tattletale, which is a Kickstarter game that got funded a while ago with art from Abby Howard. And... Um, honestly, Mysterium was kind of the hit of the night. We... we never, that game never stopped. It was just one crowd after the next, after the next. And it's such a cool, interactive, weird game, and it's so, so beautiful that it was hard for us to uh, keep enough people going um, quickly because people just wanted to replay it. So I'm really glad I brought it. I'm really sad it's not already out in the States because I'd, I'd love to be able to point people toward that game. Um, as far as last night goes, we played a game of Tragedy Looper, which was a lot of fun. Um, my friend had run the first scenario and played the second, and then later he realized that he was running the first scenario wrong, so he was happy to get in a second game of it, so he ran the first scenario for us, and we pretty immediately died the first two loops, so the first scenario is four days long and is either two or three loops, depending on how difficult you want it. We chose three. And so we played that same, that third loop, we, we made it all the way to the last day before we died. Um, but it was a lot of fun. <sighs> Sorry, it's very late. <laughs> um, tomorrow is a PTQ here in Seattle, so at the convention center. I'll be there... Uh, covering that for social media, kind of checking out what decks are getting played, what cards are getting played and sealed. And then toward the end of the day, I'll probably try and arrange some sort of draft with cons or maybe pick up one of the commander decks or something. Um, so that's my plans at the moment. Uh, for the coming week, I'd really like to get some more Tragedy Looper in. I would like at least one game where we start the first round knowing what we're doing, so that's that's important. I'm probably going to run that first scenario for Brian, like me versus him, just so he can get a feel for the game so he can participate in the next one. And um, as far as new things coming in, I'm still really hoping to see... Um, it's, it's a silly one. Uh, Sheriff of Nottingham. I, I do know that that's way light. I know that it's a party game, but it does look like a, a lot of fun. And I saw a Dice Tower Live uh, game of it and the Board with Life game of it. And both have just made me really want to play that with my friends. So I'm really glad that the, the marketing engine on that one is working. Um, that's all for now. I'm going to really quickly record my uh, top ten number eight. And so I'll see you guys tomorrow. <laughs> Bye.